Right. Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd um, put this video up because I think French police are maybe, God willing, they're actually taking more of a firmer stance about um, illegal migrants coming across the channel. Now, <clears throat> this was put up yesterday, so it might be a little bit of late news for you, but I thought I'd just give a little bit of commentary on it. The headline is French police open fire on migrants dinghy on Dunkirk Beach with potentially lethal rubber bullets to stop their illegal boat crossing to the channel in the UK. Now, first off, I'm thinking, boop, yes, finally, finally, are the French actually doing something? Right, I don't agree in lethal force. I don't think they should be shot and killed and shot in the head and whatever, but okay, right, rubber bullets, right? If that's what it's going to take, then let's go, right? And like I say, whenever I do these type of videos, it's not like a Jack and Nori story because I don't read it all out. So let's just have a little look-see. And we're going to go and actually have a look at the comments afterwards. So stay with me. French police shot migrants with rubber bullets to prevent channel crossings. Investigation by French national police authorities got underway last night. So they're actually investigating that. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> I just asked myself why. Shooting happened at Dunkirk as eight Iranian Kurds carried a dinghy to the sea. Now, what basically happens, right, without having to read it all, eight Iranian Kurds got involved in a little scuffle with um, the French gendarmerie, and they were wanted to carry a boat down into the Grand Synth, which is not far from Calais, to actually launch it for 40-odd um, um, people. Anyway, let's, uh, and the French police weren't having any of it. Um, it said, uh, French police have shot migrants with potentially lethal rubber bullets to stop their illegal boat crossing the channel to the UK. An investigation by French national police authorities was underway last night into a first, the first known case of gun tactics to halt a migrant boat launch. It marks a major escalation of tension at the beaches as gendarmerie night patrols struggle to control the armada of boats heading for Britain. The shooting happened in the darkness at Dunkirk as eight Iranian Kurds, that's what I've told you, carried a dinghy towards the sea. It was destined to bring 40 migrants from France. Two Iranian Kurds hit by bullets were taken to hospital, one with a fractured leg and one with a broken hand. Now, Forgive me if I'm wrong here. That would not happen at long distance. This is close quarters. Okay, that was close quarters. You don't get shot and get a fractured leg and a broken hand if you are not in real proximity to somebody that's actually firing that. And I know that because I'm, I I fire air rifles, and there is no there is no sodding way that you would have a fractured leg and a broken hand if you weren't up in their grill you know what i mean when i say up in their grill god yeah i'm down with the kids right <laughs> so look those carrying boat claim that the group of gun toting police laughed at them as their injured comrades fell to the ground one of the shot migrants 24 year old jamro razuli was last night in dunkirk central hospital with a fractured left leg which was wrapped in bandages he did not want to speak right mate you do not get an injury like that if you are not right up close to the police okay you can be fired on right 50 meters 100 meters and boof you'll get a bruise the fact you've got a fractured leg means you were very very close to the police that's a fact okay that's a fact because it's they are rubber coated bullets with an iron core and if you get very very close and you're shot up front like point blank range yeah it's gonna break bones and yeah it's gonna break hands Anyway, the beach shooting is believed to have followed a noisy altercation. See, this is what I mean. A noisy altercation between the Iranian Kurds intent on launching the boat and for the French patrol unit determined to stop them. Oh, look. Look at 24-year-old Joe Rizzilli. Do I feel sorry for you, mate? Mm. Do you know what? No, I don't. Uh, it was last night seen in Dunkirk Central Hospital with a fractured left leg, which was wrapped in bandages. All right. Oh, oh, poor you. Look at you with your free health care. Mm. Yeah, there you go. 
You only get an injury like that if you're at point blank range. Okay, you don't get an injury like that if you're running. Um, what does it say here? Bum 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 bum. Home Secretary Pretty Patel says fifty four million, more than seventeen thousand migrants. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Last night, an Iranian Kurd calling himself Mohammed recalled what he saw on the shooting of the early morning of September the 22nd. Okay, what do you say? At a coffee bar in a migrant camp in Dunkirk. Right, okay. At a coffee bar in a migrant camp in Dunkirk. Coffee bar. A migrant. He said, there were eight of us holding the boat near the beach. We were getting ready to launch it for 40 people who wanted to cross to your country. Then three or four police arrived in one vehicle. One policeman shot Jaron Rizzilli at point-blank range. Yeah, yeah, there you go, right? I can't remember how many times they fired the rubber bullets. Well, what... So this raises a question. A, why were you doing this? B, you're an actual criminal and you're committing a criminal offence. C, you are facilitating human traffickers, if that's what you are. D, you are actually putting more stress on our NHS and our schooling and all of that kind of stuff. So do you know what? My sympathy doesn't lie with you, Mr. Rossilli. My, 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 my sympathy does not rest with you. When the police saw us, they shouted, stop. We stopped and they shot us. No, 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 no. Then we ran away as best we could. As best he could, really. The other shot a man showing his injured had to the camera. Rubber bullets are potentially lethal. Um, uh, yeah, they, they are. If they're shot point blank range into the heart or the head. Yeah, of course they are. But they are permanently struck. I mean, typically, they have metal core. Blah, 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 blah. They're invented by the Ministry of Defence. French judicial sources insist their beach patrols only use such a show of force when it is proportionate and if the officers are placed in danger by a serious hostile situation. The camp has been infiltrated by people smuggling gangs who the French say thwart their efforts to the boat leave in. Right, so I'm sorry. I have no sympathy for you being shot at because you shouldn't be bringing a dinghy. Oh, there was eight of us. Oh, we're just running down the beach. There's eight of us because we want to get 40 people across. Nah, because you're doing it for the money. You're doing it for the money. Uh, let's just look at the comments for quickly. Let's just have a look at the um, comments. Here you go. About time. I'll do the same. Notice he was shot in the shin. So not running away. Probably attacked by the police. What are you want about with that one? Um, well, you can be shot in the shin if you're running away. But take your legs out. Um, I have to say I'm in favour. Well done to the French. About time. UK police take note. About time. This would never happen in the UK. Well done and thank you. So there you go. So hopefully the French are now going to be taking this stance. Because right, I don't want people to be injured or killed. Right. But. If they're getting a, a rubber bullet and they know that you're going to get a rubber bullet if we find you, why why didn't they even actually shoot the boats? <laughs> then first off, they should have shot the boats and punctured that shit. But obviously, there was an altercation and they got up in their faces and the French police responded accordingly. That's my opinion. I don't know if you agree with me. So please let me know down in the comments what you think. Should the French carry on with this stance? Or do you think that this was completely bang out of line and it was an over it was an overreaction? I don't know what you guys think. All I know is I've got my opinion and I think that the French police could be doing even more. Anyway, um, I hope you have a lovely Sunday and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye for now.